No man's knowledge can go beyond his experience. John Locke. My friends, each and every day you gain the experience with 10 to 15 minutes in the marketplace following these charts. Practice trading whenever there is a potential trade. And the other real key is to, you hear this all the time in the medical and legal profession and law enforcement, if you didn't write it down, it didn't happen. What does that mean? That means that you have to document what you do. Why do you document well what your trades are and what you are thinking when you're trading? So you can use that as your almanac to go back and look back in time to your diary and see what you did and why and what worked and what did not. And, it, and remember, all these charts, each and every ETF in stock has its own personality. The indexes do, the commodities do, the currencies, the stocks, the various ETFs, whether they're energy funds or they're the Russell 2000, whatever it might be, Bitcoin, they all have their own personalities. And you have to first learn if they're schizophrenic, they're like a crazy spouse that is never going to do the same thing twice. That means you stay away from them. You stay away from crazy things, right? But what do you do when something reliably moves? Look at this S&P, green to red to green to red to green to red to green. It's just so beautiful. It gives you the ability to jump into these trades. And when you take volume and you match it with the Heiken Ashi candlesticks and you see areas where there's super high volume that doesn't necessarily match up with what is otherwise happening or is showing you a lower low or a higher high, then all of a sudden you can employ that along with the candlesticks, along with the trend lines, all the other things to help you find jumping in and jumping out points. It's just beautiful. So let's jump into these charts. Everything's up for the day except the NASDAQ 100 down just a little bit, 0.02%. We'll first start with the S&P 500. Pretty similar to yesterday up just a little bit, 0.22% today. Not as much as yesterday, but we look at where we are on the weekly trend line on the two-day chart. Decently above it, same on the half day chart. Things moving in the right direction. Bigger candle, waiting to see how the volume is going to top out this week. Is it going to be up to average volume? Maybe a little more. You know, how long is this move going to go? We don't know, but it's going in the right direction. Let's go to the NASDAQ 100. What do we see there? Well, we can see where things were up in the morning, pulling back in the afternoon. If we compare it, on the half day chart to the S&P 500, we can see that it didn't pull back as much. So as we look at things again above the weekly trend line on the two day chart and the half day chart, nice big candle, higher high, moving in the right direction still. So that's good. Bonds, again, turning around. We've now completed this second, well, third two day candle. Second sits, it pushed through, the candle pushed through. But this is the Tuesday, Wednesday candle, nice candle moving up. We look at where we are on our chart and you can see, and again, I'm moving this dashed line away because it can mislead us and make us look like there's a little wick on the bottom. We move it to the side, you see there's not. So it's just a green up candle, not a huge one, not bounding up, but clearly outside the lines of the prior down move. So we're in the green at this point. Now, we see what happened the last time. Things slid along sideways, tried to go up, and then just popped down for two. I don't like this sloppiness. I want to see more movement than two weeks. Maybe it's getting ready to take off again. We can see where we've had a ceiling several times on bonds moving up, banging off of it, and heading back down. We can see that on these charts. So we will keep an eye. Maybe bonds are going to take off and blow through the ceiling this time, maybe hit it again. Maybe this is just a false start. We'll see. We'll continue to watch as things move ahead. But bonds up nicely, 1.13%, the biggest gainer for the day. Let's look at gold. Gold continuing to move up since we hit the bottom. Now, again, didn't have super high volume. We did see where the volume spiked, reaching the previous high and then moved over slowly going down. But no spike in volume above the average like we saw here when things were taking off. Now, could be 
that, you know, things will accelerate as they move up in gold. But we do see, see things going in the right direction. Not much for the day. We can see where it reached its most recent high on Tuesday morning, and we haven't tapped that again on this half-day chart. So moving in the right direction nonetheless, if slowly. And again, don't like these super flat trend lines on the weekly. Don't like that. Hopefully gold will take off more as the week moves along. Last we look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin down one, two and a half days, and we can see it just sort of meandering around the bottom. It is up 1.07%, but again, still below the trend line, below on the weekly, below the weekly trend line on the two day and the half day. Again, really blew off that energy. And the real energy spike in, now when I say energy spike, price spike, that was back on the week beginning Tuesday, the 20th of June. So again, right after Juneteenth, we had that holiday in the States. For the, those of you who don't live here, those of you not familiar with it, it's a new holiday in the U.S. This is maybe the second year. So again, that's the Juneteenth holiday. That's why the markets didn't start on a Monday like they usually do, started on that Tuesday. So that is where we are for the day. We so appreciate you being with us. We always love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. Getting ready to record for early release to the Patreon members our charting cryptos, commodities, and currencies. And if I have enough energy, I may do a little early this week the three wave trades. Just check the Patreon page, all Patreon members. I post everything first there. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth. World Headquarters.